We'd like to call to order the business meeting of January 4th of the Lewis County Board of County Commissioners to order. We do have a quorum of three, and I am now passing over the chairpersonship to Commissioner Schulte. Thank you, Edna. You're welcome. Commissioner Fun. <laughs> it happens every year. I didn't hear, I didn't hear any booze. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> so we'll start with the flag salute, Commissioner Fund. Okay, please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Now, I, I have to go to Chairman now. Chairman Chelsea, I make a motion to approve the December 28, 2015 BOCC minutes. Second. The motion has been made and seconded. Are there any additions, deletions, corrections? No. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. Any public comment? We have no public comment. I move that we approve the notice agenda, item one through five, resolution number 16-001 through 005. Second. Mr. Elsie. Good morning, commissioners. Tim Elsie, public is works. Is there Service. some significance between, with that orange shirt? <laughs> you know, it's not that orange. It seems like there should be, should be. With, uh, I, I did go to the Orange Bowl. And so that might be, oh, and Clemson is orange. I, uh, I don't yeah. know if everybody knows that. And Clemson won that game. So. I thought there might be some. A, a little bit. A little bit. Um, I'm speaking to item number one on your notice agenda, and this is establishment of the 2016 county road construction projects by county forces. This is resolution number 16-001. And as you're aware, RCW 3677070 requires that the county publish the cost and, cost and brief descriptions of 2016 projected construction projects by county forces. These are projects that will essentially be done with in-house forces. Now, our, our countywide 3R projects are done with um, contractors and county forces, but because it's being led by county forces, you have to include all of those costs in that. As you will see, this year we are not pushing up against our county forces limit. Our county forces limit is one million uh, two hundred seven. I'll get there in just a second. One million two hundred seventy-seven thousand seven hundred fifty-nine dollars. And, but we're only going to be at about $235,000 this year. The biggest reason for that is because we're pulling back on our countywide 3R so that we can get maintenance done with our, our ditches and ensuring that we get in front of some of the other projects that we have to do. We're gonna be constructing the Highway 603 project and also the Lincoln Creek Bridge. So those are all contracted out. And so for our county forces, uh, we won't be getting close to that limit this year. So what does the 3R stand for? Resurfacing, restoration, and rehabilitation. Everybody knows. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Larry Anselman, Real Estate Services Manager, speaking to item number two on the notice agenda. Resolution 16-002. This is um, accepting a bid on tax title property located off Crosby Street in Centralia. Uh, tax parcel number 27800001008 is a 1.01 acre parcel located off Crosby Street in Centralia. The property was offered at auction by the treasurer due to tax delinquencies, it did not sell and was subsequently deeded to the, by the treasurer to Lewis County. RCW 3635.150 allows for the property to be disposed of by private negotiations, providing that the final sale price is no less than the principal amount of the unpaid taxes. 
The county has received an offer in the amount of $2,458.71 excuse me, $2 for the property. The amount of the tax delinquency and the miscellaneous treasurer's fees. This resolution would accept the bid subject to the conditions of Lewis County Code 3.30.390, which requires that the proposed sale be noticed in a legal newspaper of general circulation for at least one week, once a week for two consecutive weeks. Speaking to item number three, which is resolution 16-003. This is a franchise to Michelle Telecom Incorporated to construct, operate, and maintain telecommunication facilities in Lewis County rights of way. Lewis County Code 12.20 and RCW 36.55 require that all utility installations on county road rights of way be authorized by a franchise from the county. An application for a franchise has been received from Michelle Telecom Incorporated doing business as Rainier Connect to construct, operate, and maintain their telecommunication facilities in the county rights of way. It should be noted that they have an existing franchise and this would be a renewal of that franchise. This resolution would set February 1st of 2016 as the time for hearing on this franchise request. And further, it would instruct the Board of County, or excuse me, the Clerk of the Board of County Commissioners to proceed with the necessary notifications of posting and publication. And speaking to item four, resolution 16-004, which is a franchise to High Valley Country Club Incorporated to construct, operate, and maintain water system facilities in Lewis County rights of way. Lewis County Code 12.20 and RCW 36.55 require that all utility installations on county road rights of way be authorized by a franchise from the county. We have received an AMF, a franchise from High Valley Country Club Incorporated to construct, operate, and maintain their water system facilities in the county road rights of way. This also is a renewal. They have an existing franchise that's expiring. And this resolution would set the first day of February of 2016 as the time for the hearing on this matter. And uh, further, it would um, instruct the, the clerk of the Board of County Commissioners to proceed with all the appropriate and necessary notifications, postings, and publications. And item number five, which is resolution 16-005, is regarding a proposed franchise extension to Puget Sound Energy for the construction, operation, and maintenance of water lines for the Jackson Prairie Gas Storage Project. The county entered into a 49-year franchise agreement with Washington Water Power Company, Washington Natural Gas Company, and El Paso National Gas Company back in 1965 to construct, operate, and maintain water mains with necessary service lines for the Jackson Prairie Gas Storage Project on certain Lowe's County roads. Puget Sound Energy is the operating agent of the Jackson Prairie Gas Storage Project, which is currently owned by Puget Sound Energy, a Vista Corporation, and Northwest Pipeline. Puget Sound Energy has applied for a new franchise to replace that franchise that has expired that was granted in 1965. Resolutions passed by this board 14-162 and 15-258 extended the franchise through December 31st, 2015 to allow time for negotiation between the county and PSE. 
the extensions have now lapsed and we're continuing with the negotiations. Uh, so to continue to be compliant with RCW 36.55 and Lowe's County Codes 5 and 12, the parties being PSE and the county proposed to extend the terms of the 1965 franchise by, by agreement through March 31st, 2016, which would essentially give us about three more months to complete these negotiations. RCW 36.55.40 requires that a public hearing be held by the Board of County Commissioners to consider the franchise extension. This resolution would set January 25th, 2016 as the date for the hearing on the franchise extension. And again, it would require the, or instruct the clerk of the Board of County Commissioners to proceed with all pro appropriate and necessary notifications, publications, and postings. Are most of those agreements going to be a five-year agreement? They will be. All of the proposed franchises, which are new franchises, will, will be five-year franchises. Yes. So, Larry, are they are they going smoothly? I noticed, you know, we're extending it. Does that just mean it's a little more complicated than most, or it's been so long, or? Well, I think I think both. Um, we're coming off a 49-year franchise yeah. with with yeah. those parties at Jackson Prairie, so it it has been a long time since it's been discussed. Um, it is a fairly complex uh, franchise. And to you answer your question, yeah, we met just about two weeks ago was our last meeting. And um, I, yeah, communication has been good and you know, the, the negotiations are hopefully going well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The motion has been made to approve the notice agenda and second it. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Notice agenda is approved. You're on. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chair, I make, a, uh, I make a motion for the consent agenda items 6. That would be 16-006 through 1611, number 11, 16-001. Second. The motion has been made and seconded. If you have a previous edition of our agenda, we added resolution number 16, TAC 011, this morning. Um, the agenda is the mileage rate for Lewis County um, that we get from the federal government, and it changes every January. So this was a late edition, but it's a fairly minor housekeeping matter. Mr. Walmsley. Good morning, Bill Walmsley with the Lewis County Weed Control Board speaking on resolution number 16-006, the appointment and reappointment of a couple weed board members for the Lewis County Noxious Weed Control Board. So we have- uh, so This is noxious weed, not recreational <laughs> weed. Right, noxious uh, weed control, the bad ones. That would be obnoxious weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have one reappointment, Vic Kavoroff of Randall, uh, who serves district, we district number five. Uh, so he's served on the board for a number of years. Vic uh, was asked if he wanted to serve again, and he agreed to that. So he will be serving uh, from this point forward. And then a new appointment, uh, we district number four. So this is the Mossy Rock area, Nancy uh, Tonian, uh, applied for that position. She farms there with uh, some hay and livestock and also has some timber. So this is up off of Green Mountain Road, Swafford Pond area. So uh, welcome Nancy to the board as well. Uh, so those are the two appointments that are before you today. Thank you, Bill. Mr. Wamsley, are there other vacancies we have on the weed board? So it's, uh, so we had uh, Two board members, Kavoroff and Figueroa, that uh, were open for vacancies. So we noticed the, the publication of those vacancies. So we do have another vacancy, we district number two. So in this case, that district includes parts of Centralia, 
Lincoln Creek, Independence area, and then on the east side of Centralia, Big Hannaford, coming down south to maybe about Jackson Highway. So we are looking for a board member to represent Weed District Number Two. Okay. So they can pick up application, a map, anything else that they would like if they're interested. And what's your phone number if they wanted to call? My f work phone number seven four zero one two one five. So basement of the courthouse, and I'd gladly talk to those folks. So anyway, thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Suzette. Good morning, Commissioner Suzette Smith, Auditor's Office, Financial Services Division. Here to present to you agenda item number seven. However, before I do that, I just like to bring to the commissioner's attention that in. Oh, just after the middle of December, we had a surprise cash count by the state auditor's office, and they are allowed to do that anytime they wish. They sent two examiners to Lewis County. They visited three departments to count their cash to make sure that nothing was missing or there weren't any issues. Visited was the auditor's office, recording, and department of licensing, the treasurer's office, and district court. The two examiners did say that all three offices were in order, there was nothing amiss. So I just want to say thank you to those offices. First of all, they followed all procedures in requesting identification from the examiners before they allowed them back behind their counters. So congratulations to them. Okay. And on with resolution number 16-007. This is our weekly approval of warrants for pay payment of claims against the various county departments. And we are now in transition. So we are approving warrants and payments for the 2015 and 2016 budget years. Last week we had 372 regular warrants, numbers 739206 through 739207, 739248 through 739454, 739584 through 739746, 372 regular warrants, total dollar amount $1,012,540.72. Any questions? Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Treasurer. Good morning. Good morning, Commissioners. How are you? Arnie Davis with the Lewis County Treasurer's Office here on resolution number 16-008, designating time and location of tax foreclosure sale. Um, the Lewis County Treasurer's Office has obtained a judgment and order of sale foreclosing upon uh, tax liens on behalf of Lewis County and other subsequent taxing districts. RCW 8464-0.080 requires that the county legislative authority direct the time and place of sale. We would like to suggest 9 a.m. Friday, January 29th, 2016 in the Commissioner's Meeting Room on the second floor of the Historic Courthouse Building, recommending approval of Resolution 16-008. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Arnie. Good morning, commissioners. Happy New Year. Same to you. I'm Sheila Gray. I'm the Washington State University Lewis County Extension Director, and I am speaking on resolution number 16-009, the interagency agreement between Washington State University and Lewis County for uh, extension services. This is an annual agreement that is um, delivered through a memorandum of agreement and uh, outlines the uh, fund allocations uh, that is a line item within our operational budget. <clears throat> that amount is of $77,101. Now, as much as um, many people would like to believe that that all comes to my position, it doesn't. This is uh, parsed out between many positions that serve the citizens of the county. So uh, we also uh, provide support for a for stewardship position, 4-H um, position, and also um, some time slip positions that support various um, minor programs in the county. In addition, uh, for those of you who have not yet taken down your Christmas tree, it's not too late. Um, our Master Gardener and Master Recycler Composter group, they are still taking trees over at the transfer station until Saturday, or through Saturday, I should say. And so this means um, that live trees 
um, no tinsel, no decorations, and let's put those to work as a, a recycled product rather than into the transfer station. And also, our folks have been busy. Um, we have the schedule for the 2016 workshops. Um, those are offered by the Master Gardeners, the Master Recycler Composters, and our Food Safety Advisors. This is also available on our website, which is lewis.wsu.edu. So if you want to peruse that and make your plans, there you are. Questions? I understand that they will take wreaths at the recycling center, but you have to take it off the wire. But yes. Yes. Okay. That is true. Okay. So we're looking for just greens. greens. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Yeah. Larry Unselman speaking to item number 10, resolution 16 dash 010, transfer of a franchise from Alice and Gordon Godfrey to James and Ruth Jones to erect, install, construct, repair, replace, reconstruct, maintain, and retain an existing water line on Yates Road near Chehalis. On April 10, 2000, Lewis County issued a 25-year franchise to Alice and Gordon Godfrey to erect, install, construct, repair, replace, reconstruct, maintain, and retain a water line on a portion of Yates Road near Chehalis. The Godfrey's property is now owned by James and Ruth Jones. The franchise that was issued to the Godfrey's has a provision for transfer, and the Joneses have, re have submitted an application for transfer of the franchise. This resolution would approve an agreement transferring the franchise set to expire April 9, 2025 from Alice and Gordon Godfrey to James and Ruth Jones and would authorize the chair of the Board of County Commissioners to sign the same. Uh, James and Ruth Jones have signed the agreement uh, which binds them to all the original terms and conditions of that franchise. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Resolution number 11, which is also 16 tax 011, is the mileage rate paid to employees for using personal vehicles is changing to 54 cents effective 1 January. That is updated the end of December every year by the federal government. It was 57.5 cents per mile, so it's dropped quite a bit with the price of fuel. And so we are resolution approving the new mileage rates. Any questions? No. The motion has been made and seconded for the consent agenda. With no further questions, call for the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> consent agenda is approved. Seeing no further business on our agenda, I move that we adjourn. Second. The motion has been made and seconded to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> we are adjourned.